So what happens now, basically, everyone's dying to know after it, Sinead went to the police, Laurie has twisted things again, you two are like making daggers over the tea cups in the staff room. Where do we go from here for the Laurie story? Well, it's a very good question. I mean, he currently feels like he's king of the castle. He's head teacher and, um, you know, feel, feels like he's the master of his domain. He's got what he wants. Yeah, he's got what he wants. But uh, I think it's only a matter of time before, you know, the... Uh, the story starts to unravel a little bit for him, yeah. I think it just feels unfair, but it, it kind of is a great thing because it does reflect some reality. So it's one of those things where the viewers are very frustrated. We're very frustrated. We're all very frustrated with it, but, but that's that happens perfect. Yeah, quite yeah. a lot. So it's one of those things of you want to scream at your television because it's unjust. And Hollyoaks sometimes writes the unjust and sometimes it leaves it as a reflection of what can happen. So yeah, exactly. I think yeah. that's what's interesting. About people's story. feedback on um, social media echoes that as well. You know, that's every, what everyone's saying currently as well. So it just makes the payoff even more rewarding, really. It's quite a timely story, isn't it? You know, the, the Me Too movement and all of that. I mean, for Sienna, this is going to really affect her, I think, isn't it? Go, going forward, not like she's been through enough in her life. Um, what, what impact is this going to have on her when she's already had a lot of trust issues and a lot of, you know, letting her guard down issues? Where does she go from here? I think that the show has been smart with that because a character like Sienna, everyone's initial reaction to it was, well, this isn't a girl. She's been through a lot, like you say. It's not a girl that's going to take this. But then you watch it and that's what's sort of interesting about it is to watch someone who is very strong and tough go through something like that and and not know how to cope with the situation. But yes, as, as we often see with Sienna, she gets to a point where you're all a sigh of relief that she has come out of something and she seems to be in a good place. There's always someone around the corner who wants to sort of bring her down from that. So I think it will have a huge impact and it's just whether she has the strength to move forward from it or whether it, it will sort of drag her back down to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically and literally, yeah. Um, and what about Laurie's future? Like, what can you tell us about your future on the show or the character's future? He's the hated, most hated man in the village. What's going to happen now? Well, I'm really happy about that because that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. So uh, that's um, that's great for me and, and um, you know, my kind of work that I put into the character. That's fantastic. But I can't really give away too much without kind of, you know, giving away exactly what happens. But... Um, yeah, I think the, the, the empire that he's created, it's, it's inevitable that it's going to unravel at, at a certain stage. And, and I think the more he kind of, you know, weaves this kind of web of deceit, um, it's just inevitable that people are going to rally around to try and kind of, you know, see his, his ultimate demise, essentially, without saying exactly what happens to the character. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Intriguing. Thank you, guys. Have a good Thanks, night. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers.